hello, 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 how are you? Today, tonight, I'm going to teach you, briefly, just a little introduction, um, how to knit. Knitting basics, knitting 101. So, you don't need to have your knitting needles or yarn ready, but if you happen to have those things, maybe pick them up and follow along. Otherwise, just lean back and enjoy. So, I've got my yarn. I've got a good bit. Uh, it's a lovely, like, tan, tan brown with the occasional white spots. I like it. It's a soft, cozy color. Like a light, light brown. And I've got some metallic knitting needles that are really smooth and slippery. If you're just starting out, if this is your first time knitting, then I might recommend wooden knitting needles because they're a lot less slippery. But you know, it's whatever feels feels right. You'll want to maybe experiment with the you know, the length of knitting needles, wooden or metallic. Um, I personally like to knit with wooden knitting needles because they're less slippery, but I love the sound of the metallic knitting needles clicking together. I think it's the best for for ASMR, so... That's why I'm using metallic knitting needles today. And actually, if you're if you end up becoming a really fast knitter, or if you're already a fast knitter, metal metallic knitting needles can really go along well with your speed. Can really complement your speed. So let's get started. Step one is just to take the end of your yarn and make a little slip knot. And don't keep too much of a tail. At least I find that's what I find helpful. I think keeping a, a shorter tail is it's easier for me. But I'm just gonna pull through a little slip knot. And then put that over one of your knitting needles and pull it tight. So now you've got your first little slip knot. Okay, so now basically you're going to keep making slip knots. So keep taking the yarn between your fingers and twisting and then draping it over the knitting needle and pulling it pulling it taut and I think on on metallic needles you can kind of get away with pulling it taut but on on wooden needles there's definitely a such thing as pulling it too tight because you are going to eventually want to be able to slip your other needle in there oh and this is called casting on so this is what we're doing right now is casting on Sounds like fishing, but it's not fishing. Um, so for for a beginner, I would recommend only doing like five slip knots. So just cast on with five little five little dudes, five little yarn dudes, and then yeah, once you have five or six you have successfully cast it on. So you're going to take that. I'm going to take it in my left hand because I'm right-handed. Um, 
least I think that's how that goes. Te theoretically, if you're right-handed, holding the needle with the yarn in your left hand should be more comfortable, but just do what, do what feels right to you. We're going to take our other needle and put it through the top. So we're going to start at the end that is connected to the ball of yarn, not the end um, that's connected to the, the, the little tail, if that makes sense. So you're going to go find your top loop, I guess I'll, I'll call it, because it is a slip knot, and you're going to put your needle into the loop and you kind of have you have two options you can either go to the right of the needle in your left hand or you can go to the left of the needle in your right hand and for for this for this stitch you're going to go to the right so it'll kind of look like it's going behind the needle from your perspective and it's going to make a little t like a lowercase t um and then once that's through you're going to take the bit of yarn that's connected to the ball, so not the tail, and pull that kind of back and then drape it over the needle that's horizontal, so like the cross of the T, and drape it over the left, so you're looking at it and it's like the left side and drape it over and then in front so it's like it goes behind and then kind of comes over so that it's draping forward toward you and definitely if this is not making sense I'll check out the show notes because I'm going to attach some videos and and links to um, tutorials but this might might just be nice to listen to if you already kind of know how to knit and you just need a refresher or it might just be relaxing to listen to but so okay you've got that draped so you're going to slowly pull the needle in your right hand so the horizontal needle you're going to pull that out so you're pulling it, you're withdrawing it to the right, you're kind of pulling it right. And the the idea is the friction of the, I mean, there's not much friction with a metallic needle, but like the, but the friction, the rubbing of the two needles together is going to pull the yarn that you just draped, it's going to kind of pull it back and in so that when you, when it finally is almost pulled out, you're going to run it around the edge of the needle and switch it over to the left side of the needle in your left hand. And don't, don't stick it through the, the, um, the yarn again, just let it let it go free and then move your yarn to the top of your needle in your left hand and let that first loop slide off. So there should be a loop around your right needle and there should be if you start out with five, there should be four loops left on your left needle. 
and this is the knit stitch. So the knit stitch is when you go when you stick the needle into the loop and have it go on the right side or think of you can also think of it as the side of the loop that is f furthest away from you not the one that's nearest to you so we're going to do it again go back into the next loop find your yep find your bit of yarn that's attached to the ball and then drape it so we've got our we've got our lowercase t you're gonna drape it over Whoop. these needles are slippery so drape it over there and now withdraw the needle withdraw the needle yep and now when it's just about to come out just let it and you should see it catching you should see it catching the the bit of yarn that you draped and now move it around to the other side of the needle in your left hand and just push it back through on the other side of that of that needle the side that's closest to you and then shift your yarn loops up to the top and let let the top loop come off and that was another knit stitch so that's one of the basic one of the basic stitches in knitting so let's go do another one and just go through these so you're going to keep doing keep doing knit stitches to till you get to the very last one and you slide off the very last loop so you're just going to knit stitch all the way to the bottom oh i should mention the way so the way I had you cast on is actually a little bit of a shortcut that I learned from someone. So there are, it's not necessarily the, it's, it's definitely not the only way to cast on. It is probably not even the best way to cast on, but it's just the way that I was taught. So if you see uh, different ways of casting on, um, don't be confused there are lots of ways to cast on and mine is just mine is just one of them so yeah people get taught different different ways to knit although in general the knit stitch is there's one way to knit stitch and there's one way to purl stitch which is the the next one that we're going to be learning so we drape and we pull that through push it to the other side good 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 let that bring that loop up and off good 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 and then back into the back into the next loop go behind there we go make a T and drape drape and then pull it back pull it back pull it back and push it through the other side good 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 and then pull it up pull the loop off okay this might be your last loop so push it through make a T drape it and then pull it pull it back pull it back pull it back and then
then push it through on the other side, pull it up, pull off that last loop. I actually have one more because I did six instead of five. That's okay, here we go. Push it through, drape it over, make a T, drape it over, and pull it back. Pull it back, pull it back. There we go. Push it through on the other side and then pull it up and off. So now you should have one, one needle with yarn on it and one needle without any yarn on it. One clothed needle, one naked needle. One one clean needle, one dirty needle. The dirty needle is the one that has the yarn on it. But so now it is time to do the purl stitch. So let me just find my spot. There we go. Okay, so again, so now your the little tail in your um like the loose tail of your yarn and the piece of yarn connecting to the ball should be in the same spot. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna start up at the top here. Um, so start on the loop of yarn that is around the needle. So you might have like an extra kind of loop hanging off, but Start on the, the, the loop of yarn that's around the needle. And you're going to make a T again, but instead of going behind the needle, like uh, on the side of the needle furthest away from you, you're going to go through the front of the loop in front of the needle in your left hand and take, so the piece of yarn connected to the ball that you were draping behind last time, you're going to drape it, well, some people, some people drape it, some people just kind of barely hold, I, I like to actually wrap it around. <laughs> I find uh, that's easier for me. Um, but so do a little, give it a little wrap. And now, oh, so I should tell you which way you're wrapping it. So you're wrapping it around, um, behind, behind the needle. And some people don't, don't actually wrap it, um, they kind of just hold it and then pull the needle out. I like to wrap it actually around the needle. So you're pulling it, yeah, because it doesn't hurt anything. So you're pulling the needle back. And it's like, think of the purl stitch as like a reverse of the knit stitch. So you're pulling it back and you catch the yarn and you go around you slide the needle around to the other side and push it through. Just push it free of the of the yarn, not not through any loop again. Slide your yarn up. Slide the loop off and you've got your first purl stitch. How fun is that? So go back and find your next loop there your next slip knot because like i said knit stitches are and purl stitches are just a series of slip knots okay push that needle through on the side closest to you so you're making a t it's just the the needles are sort of reversed this time well not reversed not switched but 
the needle that crosses the T is in front of the vertical needle this time instead of behind it. So take your yarn again, that's the, the, the end that's closest to its, to its ball of yarn. Wrap it the opposite way compared to what we were doing with the knit stitch, because this is like sort of the reverse of what we were doing there. The reverse of the knit stitch. This is the reverse of the knit stitch. So now you pull it out and push it back this way. And then pull it, again pull it, slide your yarn up and let the loop go free and then move down to the next loop. So we're just going to keep doing this purl stitching. And it's going to take some practice before you get it. And that's okay. Everything takes practice before you get it, you know? So, don't worry about that. Uh, okay, under, wrap that over. And pull it back out. And the you'll start to see once you've done, you basically, with, with knitting, you just go back and forth between the needles and between the knit stitching and purl stitching. You just keep switching knit stitch, purl stitch, knit stitch, purl stitch, you know? You just go back and forth, back and forth. And slide that off. And you'll start to see if you're knitting a scarf or something. Well, if you're knitting a scarf, you want to do a lot more than five. Um, we just, we just started with five because that's easy to practice with. But but yeah, if you're knitting a scarf or if you're knitting anything really, um, you'll be able to see the kind of back and forth pattern. Or even if you look at a, like a sweater you have or any kind of knitted thing, you can see the kind of back and forth, back and forth knitted pattern of it. So drape that over, pull that back through. Oops. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And it's really key to not let your knitting, especially if it's a long project, like this is fine if your knitting slides off your needles, but if it's a long project and you've put a lot of work in it, if you, if you slide it off your needles, then all that work can really easily come undone. So, so yeah, practice keeping it on your needles because that is pretty essential. Just keep it on your needles. Okay, so drape that, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, and catch it. Pull it around and push it through and then slide that one off. There we go. I've got one more because I did six. And, and I know I said not to pull it too tight, but you also don't want to have it too loose because if you don't have it, if you, if you, if you have it too loose or not tight enough you're not going to be able to like you're just you're just not going to be able to uh, find the place where you can pull the the yarn through like at that place where you drape it and you pull it out and then you move it move the needle to the other side of the needle yeah you're if it's if it's too loose you're not going to be able to find that that happy zone where the 
where the needle pulls, draws the yarn through, and then pushes back out. Okay, so you should have something. You should, again, have a, a naked needle and a, a needle with yarn on it. And you should have something that resembles uh, some knitting kind of living there, s sitting there on your, on your full or dirty needle. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't look quite right, no worries, because again, you can just slide that right off your needle, give it a, a yank, and all your work comes undone. satisfying so if you feel like you're not quite speedy yet don't worry just keep practicing it takes it can take a lot of practice for some people um, and don't worry just go go at your own pace and you'll you'll get the hang of it eventually I believe in you I hope this was helpful. Remember, there are going to be some links in the show notes to some more knitting instructions, some photo tutorials, and also video tutorials. So check those out. And also, don't be afraid to ask a friend who knows how to knit. Hey, can you show me how to knit? It can be really helpful. All right, this is Blue Skies signing off. Stay crafty.